Yeah. Clap it up. Clap it up. We back. We back. Make noise. All right. Y'all know what it is. Hold on. Let me start this music. Y'all know what it is. We back. Another episode. Did you miss me? Can I bite that? Can I bite the Darnell? No. It's Darnell. <laughs> hey, Martin. Martin Lover right here. Y'all know what it is. We back for another episode. Static Flow Podcast. Your favorite two people that you love to hear from. All right. Your host, Derek, a.k.a. You already know. Along with my... Yeah. Don't jump the gun before I say the my words. Who I am? I'm gonna call you smooth edges tonight because you got them things laid down. See it? Yeah, you know I mean, shellac it. You know what I mean? How do y'all do that? How do y'all shellac that and lay that down like that? What's the secret to shellacking? I'm so irritated. <laughs> <laughs> so good. TK in the building. Y'all know what it is. No, no TK shirt tonight. Maybe we'll have it on the next episode. But we're back. Thank you guys for supporting, following, and doing all of that. So make sure you're doing that right now. Follow us at The Static Flow Podcast on Facebook, The Static Flow Podcast on Instagram, and YouTube. Check out various episodes, Static Flow Podcast. And don't forget, you can also check us out anywhere you like to listen to podcasts. If you don't want to watch the visuals, you can definitely check out the podcast on Apple, Spotify, and Google, or anywhere you can Why search you list them all? podcasts. And just type in Static Flow. I like to I like to hear myself talk about it. Yeah. Um, so definitely check that. You know, Static, Static, Static Flow. You know what I mean? For real, for real. We still looking for that theme song right now. If you want to write one for the show, send it through. You know what I mean? For real, for real. How are you today? I'm okay. I'm tired. You're tired, right? But we still in here, though. You know yeah, what I mean? We, we don't let that stop us. You know what I mean? The parent grind, the job grind. Yeah. We don't let that stop us. We get it in. All right? So what are we doing first? Get it off your chest. It's time to talk about it. It's time to get it off the chest. S, yep. S, 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 chest. I don't even know what we're getting off our chest. I, I try to find out sometimes, but... Of course, like all women, you know, they want to be in control of everything and keep everything a secret. You are correct. And they want you to find out last minute. Let's give you a more authentic response. I don't like it. Don't right. like we it. We get to love it. All right. Oof. First thing we're going to talk <clears throat> about is Atlanta. ATL, so, Wody. Yeah, I mean, what happened today? All-Star Weekend was last weekend. Oh, man. And I knew the city was dude, gonna be dude, on fire. Dude. Literally, okay. literally, <laughs> so, you know, burning I'm let you out. Take this because you go. You burning, <laughs> literally burning out. You know what I mean? For real, for real. Y'all know what I'm talking about. For all of y'all that was out there getting down without the glove that you needed to have Just, to get the love. Okay, you didn't have a love glove on. You on fire right now. But let's talk about what happened in the streets. So um, many things happened. <laughs> like so many things went on. And and I hate to say it, uh, uh, that. I, I didn't. I didn't know Atlanta had got to that level. I knew. Why? I knew, mm-hmm. but you know, I knew the. You know, and and this is not to talk bad about Atlanta. We know that the you know the carjacking was going on from Luda. You know, we just seen Luda get his carjacked at ATM. You know, we know that it was a little bit of violence going on out there in the streets yeah, and stuff like that. But you you know you wouldn't think that you could you know roll down there and just go to a party and then come out and you what? and your full set gone. Of good years. Out of here. <laughs> <laughs> your, your full set of good years is, is, is out of here. That's you know? crazy. Now, it's a lot of work that goes into that. Because they planned for that. They was like, yo. They left the cars jacked up. That means you had yeah. to have the whatever you needed to leave under the car when you finish. Yeah. Once you finish jacking it up. Center uh-huh. blocks. I don't know what they was using. I, I can't. Some of them just left the jacks in there. Some of them left Come the on. jacks in there. Come yeah. on, son. Yep. That's and like, crazy, right? Now, and now, now let's let's really unpack it a little bit more. We already been to tire places before. They got the little machine. Did they have one of those? Because if they was out there manually doing know. that, I think they was. Because the somebody's was strong like as hell right now. Because <laughs> to get some lugs off. First of, of all, you know it was tire. more than one person. You know it was a whole group of them, a whole gang of them. Doing one on each tire. It was four. Everybody working tire. That's terrible. You know what I'm saying? Now. If you're looking now, this is a plug. If you're looking for a set of good tires and rims right now, just go down to Atlanta. Great sale going on right now somewhere on somebody's block. That's terrible, yo. <laughs> yo. Also, did you see the girl who had a GoFundMe because she said she went down there with four hundred dollars and she was waiting for her unemployment. First off, well, first of all, she got it. That's the first thing. She got her goal and more. I know, right? What is it? Thirteen? She wanted thirteen. I don't know. It was like something. All, all I know is she got way over what she asked for. And that's messed that up. 
No, it's not. She told people. She didn't lie. That's up to people to it's give. Homeless if they people want to. out here that got needs and need stuff. Sitting them thirteen hundred dollars. People just wanted to get her home. It's messed and up. And did it's you see the up. um the girls that rented the U-Hauls? Oh, that drove down. Like use it as a party bus. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you was that pressed. Hey, let me tell you, we get creative. You know, that pressed. One thing I want to say about my people is when uh, when it happens, we get creative. So cool. All the party buses are sold out. Damn, what we All gonna right, do? What can we do? You know Come what? On. Hold on. My friend Terry worked out at the U-Haul. We get one of the U-Haul trucks. Decorate the back of the truck. Put some chairs in the back, and we out. That's terrible. And we're on the way. NBA All Star Weekend. We here we come. <laughs> Literally. Hold on, one more. The girl twerking in the street. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> the video of the girl twerking in the street. First off. I'm not mad at her for being in the street twerking. I'm really not upset about that. Her friend was twerking too. They was all getting it in. Who you got a question in that one? When that damn light turned green, if that's your friend, they're not going to pull off knowing you holding on to the door handle. But, but I really think that she thought that they was in there because the other girl got in. I, I, I feel like she thought everybody was in the car ready to go. <laughs> if you didn't hear, do do. If you just heard, do. But you somebody, know good where somebody, the damn music somebody. was probably blasting. They was turned up. They... Hey, yo, I'm telling you, yo, Atlanta, I love it. ATL, I love it. We're on the way. We got to get down there. No, we're not. Anyway. We got to get down there. ATL, All right. Wody. All right. <laughs> Wody. Is that one New Orleans? Wody is New Orleans. New Orleans, yes. Get your slang okay. right. Let me get it. Shout out to New Orleans. We got to get down there. New Orleans, right? All right. Listen. Can we do that one? <laughs> um, Next, get it off your chest. What we doing? Is versus. Hey. Timberland and Swiss Beats dating up in Soul versus to Triller. How you feel about that? At first, I was like, yo, in the beginning, they was like, you know, this is for us, by us. We're going, you know, this is something that we created for the mm-hmm. community. Boom, mm-hmm. boom, boom. However, mm-hmm. they got an opportunity. It's business at the end of the day. They got it an is. opportunity it to is. sell it. And they it brought is. along everybody who participated. So all the artists yeah. who participated, it's they brought like them along. They get a share. The title deal a little bit. What yeah. Jay-Z did with title had the artists on there and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, and we got to think about this, too. I think Charlemagne said this. I'm not sure. What? Like what started off as something just it was free, something to just entertain people during COVID. Like they they cultivated that into, into a, business. a business. Like that's like, dope. For mm-hmm. those that, for those that don't know, yeah. Swiss and Timberland were just at home chilling, was on Instagram live yeah. talking to each other, and then all of a sudden Swiss played a beat, then Timberland played a beat. Then he said, you know what, I got something for you. Then he played a beat. And at that point and at that moment, Versus was born. Yeah, like. And then it went from producers to rap artists to R&B yeah, until it is what it is now. Yeah. I think what a lot of people are confused with right now is how will Versus continue now that the world is open back up. But, you know, I think if I think uh, live show Versus would be great because that's no different than when Rick Ross and 2 Chain was in the same room. Yeah. Now you just take the artists and you put them on the same stage. So now some people can be there live watching the verses Mm -hmm. and then some other people can be watching it televised on apple tv or on instagram i feel like it's still it's always gonna be a platform for that one because some people ain't ready to go back outside and be amongst people and two people some people can't afford concerts and you just sit it's free you're not paying for you just being entertained just being entertained so so you know but it's dope you know now I, 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 i was a little upset I wanted to know how much they got. You know, Jay Z put his figures. Jay Z put his figures out there. He put the figures out there. We know he got the six forty and the two nineteen, two ninety seven. I'm even remembering the figures right now myself. I'm probably I'm sure it's probably public somewhere. Jay Z was getting the check. But uh, now, you know, the dude spoke out against him, though. What dude? Uh, Michael Rainey Jr. Oh, from yeah, yeah, yeah. From he Power. was like, yo, mm-hmm. they sell outs, they sold it, but then they made a comment that they own thriller. Triller. They own Triller. Triller. So I don't Yeah, uh, they, that, I think they have some shares in it. Okay. And also the artists have shares in it, so okay. so it's just like title. But yeah. they was that they were talking about it like they own it. Like yeah. yo, this this is our thing. We get the busy. entire thing, but okay. Yeah. But it's dope either way. I'm I'm here for it. Versus, yeah. keep it going. Yeah, man. Keep that energy going. Do your thing. We need a podcast versus. You know, All right, Tim Twist, call us. All right, let's do um, it. Yep. You All right, the last static thing flow, is uh, Cardi. Static flow. So yo, that's dope. So what when, when I 
Yesterday? Day before yesterday? Whatever. Yeah, uh, yesterday. Cardi's Bodak went Yellow diamond. went diamond. That's crazy. Yeah, right? I mean, Measure is still doing numbers. numbers. When did that like, come out? Two years ago? Come on, man. If not, if not even long, too, longer than two. It was still longer than two years. But uh, the record always stay charting. Like, I, I keep up with a lot of chart stuff, of course, because I'm on the radio. It's my job to do that. And the record just every, it stayed on the charts mad long. Yeah, mad. Pretty much a lot of her album did. Um, actually, that came from a slogan and a piece of like uh, Kodak Black, the the Bodak thing. So mm-hmm. she actually gave him his props. I think he actually making money off of her song okay. too because he allowed her to use something mm-hmm. of his on the record or yeah. whatever it is. I, I don't know all the details about it, but you know, but the Go Diamond, that's that's it for a and single. And when we figure out she was the first... She was the first female, female to single. have a single, diamond single, because okay, Lauren Hill's the first one to have the, the album, album. Yeah. the diamond album. So the ladies is, is doing it big right now. And this was all happened like Lauren Hill's was in February, and then when her, her album went diamond, and now you got Cardi B in March going diamond. So oh, yeah. that's dope. You know what I'm saying? National, international. What is it? International Women's Month. It's it's happening. March. It's happening for y'all right now. You know, big up to the ladies, man. Y'all make it happen. Good or bad, y'all make it happen. Sometimes. How you yeah. gonna just go? You were so positive. <laughs> I'm just saying. Cause I saw a video today where a woman threw a center block through this dude's back window. So. So you think she just woke up and said, "You know what? Today she I'm gonna have. do this." She obviously, have. the cause and she effect. Have. So she obviously, she could that have. He could have been minding his her. own business. I, I doubt that. And then very she seriously. wanted those. You know what anyway. I mean? Anyway, ladies, please. All right. Leave the cars alone. You ready for our topic? Don't be ATL in people's cars. Are you ready for our topic? <laughs> what we get into today? What All are we right. talking about? Today we're talking, our topic is stripper gate. Strippers. I didn't say that. Say the topic. Stripper gate. Stripper gate? Yes. Okay. Break that down for me. Stripper gate. <laughs> Give me so something. So listen, the question Give me is, something. okay, let me tell you where this comes from. Something. So I know a lot of y'all watch Real Housewives of Atlanta. And so like the last couple episodes have been focused on... Um, uh, the bachelor party that Candy threw um, Cynthia. Mm-hmm, and so it was mm-hmm, a, um, mm-hmm. a stripper there and things got frisky, frisky. and allegedly two of the cast members uh, engaged in some sexual relations. But even outside of the sexual relations, like it was a bachelor party and they was getting, was. even the people, even the ladies who were married or who were in was relationships, in. like the dude was, was, was getting it in. Yeah, they, they were, was getting it. In. I didn't see the video. entertained. Did you see it? I saw the episode. I watch it. <clears throat> okay. So you, you, that means you can speak on this better than me because I didn't watch it. So tell me what you saw. I saw he, he pulled out his man parts. Right. So, so hold on. Did they blur that out? Cause that they was They blurred TV. it. Of course they did. Okay. They blurred it out. He grinded on people, obviously. Raw, the like, raw man part was no, out. No, 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 no. Not, okay. that, not that I could see. I don't know. He still had so the sleeve they on. They did all okay. that, and he was flipping people over tables right, and grinding right, on them like that. Right. Put his man part the on the private area. At a certain point, the lady said, ask the Bravo camera crew, can we be finished for tonight? We don't want the next part of what's going to happen to be filmed. Me? And so the camera crew packed up their stuff and they left, but there were still like some cameras in yeah, throughout man. the house. And right. so they were hiding though. They were trying to, you know, cover those. Right. And you can see like some, so you can see like some girl on girl kissing. So they were doing that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Did you, can you recognize which two were kissing? Yeah, it was Portia and Latoya. They were kissing. Portia and Latoya. That's the girl that came with her? What you talking about? They're cast Portia. members, Portia. Portia's I know. been on there forever. Okay, so, that, so, the, so give me the kiss. Was it a peck or were they talking? No, they was kissing. They like were passionately the slop. kissing. Yeah. All right, give me something. And what they else? they were just talking like after the fact. They were just like, yeah, it was a lot of girl on girl. It was a lot of touching candy, and tongues candy, everywhere. And, mm-mm. Tongues everywhere? Yeah. So they was going so down they, on each other and everything. What, that, that, they alluded to that happening. So they allegedly were going down on each other. And yeah, then. so they alluded to that. So um, <laughs> Damn. So yeah, it was a bachelor, and then they was about freaky. Us. They was with their legs open and grinding on each other. So it was a Cynthia, yeah, Candy. Okay, look. All right, so that's not how I need, far I need the, the names. question is. I need to know the names far, who was in that matter. room. The, yeah, who, I need the to know everybody. Atlanta. Candy was in there. Cynthia, Portia, and what's the other Kenya, girl? Kenya, all of them. Kenya. Marlo, everybody was there. The whole cast, the whole cast Kenya. of females were there, but the, not the, everybody engaged to the level that some of them did. So some of them went to bed when the stripper. Oh, also, so uh, the stripper did see? his routine. Yeah, went to his room. That's when the ladies asked the cameraman, like, "Can we y'all leave for the even boom boom boom?" So they Portia went to his room and was like, "We want you to come back out. It's no cameras. We just want to, you know, have fun without cameras." Bet you did. Bet she did. And then he went home at six a.m. Oh yeah, he and smashed. And they heard two, two. He heard two female voices in the room, and so 
Kenya made a big deal out of it. Who was it? Boom, 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 blow it up. Yeah, he was smashed. That is not the focus of this. The focus is how smashed. far is too far. Um, Every, everything you just said. When it comes to strippers. And this can be female strippers or male strippers. Everything you just said was too far with the, with the, with the, well, well the grinding see. part isn't. That's part of a stripper. Yeah, the girl on girl action. It's nothing wrong with that. Uh, that's, you know, if you're going to do that right there, you know, it's part of the festivities. Uh, All right, let me, the let grind. Me, let, me fo- <laughs> let me get you back focused. Oh, okay. All right. What if what I just described to you right. happened at a bachelor party that, or bachelorette party that both of us went to separately? What would you think? What is your reaction from that? And I can give you my reaction from if it was you, that or yours. You had a joint like that mm-hmm. and all of that went down with mm-hmm. you in there? Yeah. Oh, what? Is that too much? You like, what's, what's too much first, for a strip First, a bravo party? going out of business because I'm turning all the cameras up. All the cameras are tore all the pieces. <laughs> it's going down. All right. Then, uh, but from that point, I don't know. Maybe I might be doing a little jail time. I need Somebody's you to be focused hurt. and take away Bravo and the camera. I'm talking about a bachelor. What is too far in a bachelor party? What's, what's going? What's, what's, what are the boundaries? Where can you? What's the safe zone where you you're good? All right. Now, all right. Now, now I'm gonna go to that place, fellas. Y'all ready? I'm gonna go to that place, fellas. Y'all follow with me? You know, everybody know. That uh, usually when you're at a bachelor party, you've seen it before. You've seen it on the best man. Uh, Tay Diggs and the fellas, mm-hmm. you know. When it's your last hoorah mm-hmm. before you get ready to, you know, put the ring on mine in my pocket because I, okay. I was washing dishes earlier. All right. I think you, it's just like he said, you go in the pocket. It's right here. Uh-huh. Hold on, y'all. Let me, while I'm talking, let me find my ring. But uh, when it's your last hoorah, you know, and you, you getting ready to, you know, put on one of these <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you know, you you have a tendency to, to take it there. You know, you have a tendency to say, you know what, this is, this is a like a poor man's last meal. You know, and you kind of you know find yourself in a situation where you you might take it. You know, to a place where you know you like this last time. What's know? wrong with you? You have not answered the question. As a, as a answer the question. I'm getting there. Hurry up. I'm building up to it. Shit. And you might end up, you know, sometimes sleeping with the stripper, you know, end up having sex sex with the stripper, you know, because things escalate. But, you know, a lot of that be on the stripper because they know that you're getting ready to get married and they be in there dancing on you and they are seducing you. We're talking about whole grown ass men. Seducing you. They they are they are messing with your man parts and they are really seducing you and they like yo this your last chance you are gonna be able to get out here and be buck wild before sir, you put that ring on and they 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 make you sir what is too far for you speaking for yourself and then for your a female I'm, I'm I'm like you as long as there's no juices what do you say what is your thing you like to say as long as there's no what fluids fluids as long as there's no fluids being exchanged i'm uh, not cc it's not exchange any uh, fluids coming out your body period so i, I want to no 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 hold on what you mean out your body hold on i want to make something clear when i say cheating any fluids involved so if you're ejaculating it doesn't matter if you're if it's touching someone else if you're yourself it, that's that is cheating because something or someone is making you get to that point that is cheating so if i'm so if i'm at if i'm at the, if I'm at the bachelor party and i got my own meat in my hand and I and I jack my meat and I bust. Okay, we're getting it's, so far off. This. I, I'm just saying. We'll talk about that later. What's too far? <laughs> That's what I'm asking you. So if I'm at a if I'm at a bachelor party, mm-hmm. and I'm, why is why, your dick out in front of a whole bunch of people? If what, why why hey, is that it's, happening? It's, That's hey, too far. Hey, so there. That's the answer Sebastian, to your question. Yes, bachelor party. Y'all. That's too far. Sebastian Keep your dick in your pants. It's a bachelor too far. Party. It's what else you party. got? But if it did happen to get out and I jack it, is that cheating? Is you're doing t- you're doing way too much. But is that Why? cheating if I jack my own penis at, no, a, at a bachelor party? It's, it's not. It's not. It's not but, te- technically cheating. But that's not go, my fellas. point. So if you at a bachelor party, you could do it's, anything. It's highly inappropriate. <laughs> and why is your penis out? And it's hard. You got to take it out for like ten minutes, and how you, you still haven't. How do you let a hard penis stay in his pants? Do you have some? <laughs> <laughs> I just said, long as it's no fluids, nothing. Uh, everything's. So know? let me let me paint. So if I were picture. at a bachelorette party and the dude is grinding he on pick me, on, yeah, he's gonna pick you up. He's gonna be putting you. Is in, that too far? You know Even if saying? his penis is out, if he's grinding on me and I got clothes raw, on, raw joint out. Yeah. yeah, that's that's over the top. That's too he, far. He got his raw joint on you. But I don't. But I have clothes on. So what difference does it make? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Why? His juices can get on you. He, you, you, him, and the friction. The friction from you and him humping on you. It can make him bust on you. That means you helped him juice come from his body. <laughs> that's what about cheating. um? That's cheating. What about 
uh, not kissing in the mouth, but like kissing on the neck or on the body part. Is that is that too much? Is that a is that a boundary limit? I, mean, I, I don't, you know, and I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm I, I guess maybe maybe it depends. I don't know. You know what I mean? All right. Like uh, for fellas, I wouldn't say that's a lot. That might not be too much. But for women, yeah, that's that's what we're So talking. if a dude kisses a female, that's too much. But if a female kisses a dude during a stripper, that's that's fine. I mean, that's normal. It's normal. It goes on. Have you lost your goddamn mind? It happens right now. What it's are you talking about? It ha- women rub and caress men all the time in the strip club. I didn't say nothing about rub. I said putting your lips. lips on them. Yeah, most of the time when they be by your ear, they be whispering stuff, and they might they might lick your ear. That's unacceptable to me. Like I'm you all know for strippers. If you want to go to a bachelor party or to a strip stuff. club, that's then that's what I heard. totally. That's what I heard. That's totally fine. Like the grinding. <laughs> I know that's a whole, all a part of the show and shit. But when it comes to I like putting see. your oh, mouth on that. somebody. Or that's too much. You know, it's 2021, guys, and uh, people, people, it's, it's, it's happening. You know, things are happening. You know, the elevation of bachelor parties are at an all time different level right now, which, which we've seen on Bravo <laughs> that the women are doing it. Or at least we're not on TV with it. You know what I'm saying? These are women supposed to be professional women on Bravo. Getting dick down. I mean, I said it. Dick down on national television. Let me just say this. These are grown women. And yeah, if they are the word. single, they, that's their Candy business. Candy is not single. Candy wasn't a part of it. That other dude, she was in that party. She Candy wasn't Candy is the one who arranged the party. She, she set wasn't the party in there. up. Bobo, she, she wasn't in there with the Bobo. She set the, she bought the dude in there. How you know his name? She bought the dude you in said there. It. I never said his name. Yes, you did. I have. N- I never said the man's name. Yes, you did. Bobo the stripper. That's not his name, but whatever. <laughs> um, but yeah, she set it up, but she said she wasn't a part of it. She wasn't getting all that so stuff. So she done. wasn't in the room when the stripping went on. Yes, but that doesn't mean the dude is touching her. How do we know? Because they cut the cameras off and covered the cameras up. Because See everybody said, See, including women, her, that you know, and plus shit. her friends were like she went to bed. So it wasn't. Of course they're going to cover for her because Todd. Well, first of all, Kenya was. Out and everybody, so no, no, they everybody wasn't covering for everybody. And was and Kenya was about to get married. Was she in there? Kenya's married. So was she in there? Was yeah. he? He one of the people that they say but he's no. smashing. No. Oh, just, just Portia. Portia and, uh, I mean, well, we know how Portia get down. Shout out to Portia though. She keep it a hundred. She be about that action. She ain't scared to let people know that. You know what I'm saying, ladies? If you about that action, don't be scared to let people know you about that action. Whether it's on national TV or right in your backyard at the barbecue. Listen, if you're single, do you. Get if you busy. are in a relationship, you got to do what's comfortable in your relationship. But one of the girls, Drew, who was on the game, she's married. She let him like grind up on her, flip her over the yeah. table. But she told her husband when she when he got home, she yeah. was like, this is exactly what he did. Yeah, yeah got a little frisky. But she frisky. didn't say the part where he stuck the dick in. She probably she ain't tell him that. With him. You know what I'm talking about? When he started she spooning. You know what I'm talking about? When you start playing patty cake, patty cake, baker's man. All right. So bake me a cake. <laughs> all right. So listen. As fast as you can. This is, uh, what else you got? <laughs> what's, your, what's your thoughts about this? Um, it's, it's, th- this is one of them topics almost where it's to each its own. Because we know there's a lot of couples and people that have open marriages, open relationships. Mm-hmm. And they allow people to do whatever. You got people out here that are swingers. All types of stuff. So it's just it's all about the connection with who you with and what understanding that you guys have. And if y'all got an understanding that hey, there's no holes bar, all the gloves can be off. But then when we come home, it's just gonna be about us. Then that's you. But then some people don't they don't want to do that. You know what I mean? So it's all about what you can take, what you can deal with, what you can handle. You know, and then why not? If you a couple, try going out together and turning up at the same time together. See how it works. See how it feel. You know what I'm saying? Bless you. Sit back and watch each other get a lap dance, spoon down and rubbed on and see how it make you feel. And then after that, you're going to know exactly how you feel about it, you know, because you get to see it firsthand. So that's that's, that's, a, that's an experiment for all you guys. <laughs> Take your partner to the strip club and both of y'all get lap dances from the men and the men and watch each other get a lap dance. That's what you do. Did you say men the men seven. and the men? Men and the women. You said the men and the men. I said the women and the men. Take the men and the women the men and the men go. Just go to a strip club where both of y'all can get the same lap dance. Where a dude can come out dance for your wife and a girl can come out dance for you. And then y'all sit back and watch each other and then let us know how it make you feel. Okay? Thank you. Hit us back. Hit us in the DM. Thank you. <laughs> let us know how it made you feel. What you got for him? Nah, 
I mean, it, it, listen, to each his own. That's what you want to do. People are grown as hell. If you want to have sex with Turn strippers up. and you ain't in a relationship. Turn up. Hey, do it. Do it. Do you. But if you're in a relationship, it's boundaries. You can't be out here doing all that stuff. I mean, unless Turn that's up. what y'all do in y'all relationship. You know what I'm saying? It's how you sign up for it. That's you know what I mean? So, if y'all sign you know up for it like that, sign up for it. You feel me? Yeah, it goes down in the... It goes down. All right, I'm finished. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love it though, man. We we saw that. We had to talk about it. You know what I'm saying? So once and that went on in Atlanta right there too. That was in ATL. So yeah, ATL, man. y'all are Fire. y'all at the top of the charts right now. You know, doing it real big. Uh, before we uh, move on though, I do want to send a shout out to um, Kadia. Shout out to Kadia. Uh, she's the designer that did this lovely work for us right Is her now. Name Kita. Kita. Oh my bad. I said Kadia. Is it Kita? Yeah, Kita. My bad. Shout out to Keita. I'm bad with names, y'all. Keita, Keita, my bad, yo. Keita, my bad. You already know. Keep shouts out to Keita. She did this amazing Tumblr for us right here. That you like to call a thimble. Static Flow Podcast. You know what I mean? It's a nice thimble. <laughs> and uh, she did one for my radio show, too. Uh, DT3 Radio. She's nice with the work. Um, if y'all want to get one of these and you want to hit her up, uh, just go to Keita'sTumblers.com. Okay. That's KeitasTumblers.com, and she can hook you up and tell them the Static Flow crew uh, sent you through there. She do some nice work. So next time, you'll probably see two flow cups up here, but I did want to put this one on display until I get the other flow cup up here. You know what I'm saying? Represent that DT, you know, Drizzy. You heard? But uh, make sure you're following us on all social media. Uh, the Static Flow Podcast, that's Instagram, that's Facebook, and um, on YouTube, it's just Static Flow Podcast, and you already know, anywhere you listen to podcasts, Spotify, Apple, Google, all the places, man, you can check us out right there, and if you want to send us a topic, or you want to hear us talk about something, you can DM us, or you can hit us up on the Gmail at staticflowpodcast at gmail.com. I think we need to check the email. I, I have a I didn't yeah. check it last week. So if you're sending us something right now, staticflowpodcast at gmail.com. That's where you can check us out at. Don't forget, y'all, you know, we one week on, one week off with this thing. So uh, we'll see you week after. <laughs> we'll be back you're- with another episode of your favorite podcast. I'm Derek. Tika. You know what it is, Static Flow Podcast. And we are what? Ooh. Out. Ooh.